this live. But oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're live. Hey, what is up, guys? John from Magic Tech Review here with CB Tech tonight. What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope y'all are having a great day. How's it going? Yep, for all the you, you ghouls and ghosts out there that are celebrating ha- uh, Halloween, happy Halloween! All um, so we have some uh, trick or treat holiday deals here for uh, Cricket Wireless. That uh, one one off coming from Metro. We got a bunch of little things to here and there to talk about. We got the ZTE Blade Max 2S. If you did that on boxing for CV Tech. Definitely need to do so at some point. You're, you're you're cutting out a bit, bro. You're, you're cutting out a, you're cutting out a little bit, man. You're you're in and out pretty bad. Oh, am I? Yeah. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. No. Here, not good all right. at all. Yeah. Let me go set the Wi-Fi a little bit, uh, and you can just kind of talk a all little right. bit about your ZTE phone real quick or something. All right. All right. So, hey, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, let me, I got to reply to a text here, so give me one second. Uh, okay, so what's up? What's up? How's it going, everyone? I uh, got everybody in here tonight. I can't tell how many people is watching, unfortunately, because um, I haven't, haven't updated my – let me update my app, actually. Uh, cause if I update my app, it might tell me, let me get rid of this messenger thing here as well, too. It's kind of interfering with my screen. All right. All right. So might Marvel. have to give it, um, might have to give it a minute, man. I don't know. Um, cause you're, you're still cutting out just a little bit. It's not too awful bad but it's still cutting out a little bit but yeah all right let me try to cut some wi-fi devices off yeah that might have a little bit maybe we can get this thing started here in a second Okay. Maybe it's just too many devices on on the same on the same uh, connection. Maybe so. Maybe so. You never can tell. Okay. What's going on? All right. All right. All right. So, how's everyone doing tonight? I think I said that, but repeat myself. <laughs> Got 34 people watching. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you awesome. Hmm. Some kind of echo. Let me unplug and plug back in here. All right. All right. How about that? All right. I think. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. I, I'm still here a little bit. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Weird. I'm using the using the same headphones I always use. Yeah, let me try to unplug and plug in as well. Just some technical difficulty, so Hmm. So there so tech news Thomas says no echo on CV text in a little bit on magic text in. Okay. Yeah, let's hear it a little bit. So yeah, guys, we have Cricket wireless deals. We have uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. A lot of stuff. 
to talk about tonight. Metro PCS. So yeah, man, I got all the I got all the tech news tonight. Danielle Cohn says ZTE, please. Yes, we will discuss the ZTE here as well tonight. So this is a good stream to come to. And also, if you're not subscribed to me, CV Tech, which is right here, I'll just say a hello in the chat here. And if you want to subscribe to me, you can click on my little bubble over there, um, CV Tech. And uh, you can click there, subscribe if you so wish. I'm like 54 away from 17,000, so that's awesome. Second, giving away candy, man, they're not going to be giving nothing away. <laughs> oh, nothing goodness, away. cricket. What's going on, Tech? Right? What's going on, man? Man, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to tell y'all, man. I'm I like, I'm, I'm like kind of depressed about it, to be honest with you guys. About the whole cricket wireless deals, holiday, holiday lineup. So, what you want to hit on first, man? Yeah, bros. Look at this, man. Echo bat is bad on Magic side. Mm. Can you try to take the headset off? I did. Uh, well, I can't. I, I just take it bit. off completely. Let me see. All right. All right. You guys hear Nickel now? now? Okay, is that any better? Oh God, it's even, oh, God, it's it's even, even worse. It's even worse. Even worse. Yep. yep. Oh crap. crap. That is bad. Okay. Um plug back in. That's weird. Sean White says I don't hear an echo. Echo, echo. Okay, cool. Yeah, I still hear it a little bit. I can hear it. Is it on your end? Maybe you ought to change up a little bit, maybe? I don't know. I can try. Um, I mean, there's not much I can change here. Let me drop out of the call, and I'll come back in. All right. Ruthless Gang says, great stream. Uh, Echo's gone. I can hear it a little bit, but I we'll just keep rocking with it though. I can hear it just slightly, slightly in my ear. But well, I don't hear it on my phone. Well, maybe a little bit I hear it, but hmm. anyway. Okay. So anyway. Cricket giving lumps of coal? Yes. Cricket is definitely giving out lumps of coal. Oh, my God. Where do I even start? Where do I even start, guys? <laughs> don't worry. If you don't like the lot, if you don't like the long format, guys, I am going to make a short format where I literally just go through all the deals at once. Obviously, people are going to be like, oh, you're blabbing and blah, 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 blah. So, you know what I'm saying? If you just like the live streams, thank you for joining live streams. I will be giving the information out like in a shorter video. Sometime in the future. So what you want to hit on first, man, tonight? Well, let's talk about let's talk about the Alcatel One X Evolve. I just I just want to get everybody's thoughts and opinions real quick for Metro PCS. Right. So uh, apparently, apparently, I, I've got you know I've got ninjas and I've got shooters everywhere uh, giving me this information. And Metro PCS, man, they are. Um, they are apparently coming out with the Alcatel One X Evolve. So, um, like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. You said that you, you said you've played with the three V before, or you've had the three V. Yeah, I, I bought the Alcatel three V from Amazon, and it's a lot like the Alcatel Seven on Metro. I believe the Metro is a bit better than the three V, um, but honestly, they're pretty close together. And so the, I mean, I, I've read specs on the Alcatel 1X, but not the 1X Evolve. So I don't know much about the 1X Evolve. Hmm. I don't either. And I'm going to like, I'm going to kind of look like, I guess this might be a brand new phone or maybe it's like a, you think it's just the 1X, but they're just like, you know, 
they may be adding a bit more storage or a bit more a better maybe a bit better processor you know they they're not going to change a whole lot probably uh i am looking at the alcatel 5v um but i haven't really seen it anywhere yet i think it's only sold over in the middle east right now so okay so oh god the Octel One X is powered by a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. It comes with one gig of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage. Probably, that, that, that's probably yeah, about that's right. right. Probably a MediaTek 6737 or a 6735 uh, low end processor. Uh, maybe one, maybe two gigabytes of RAM. I would say two gigabytes of RAM. Maybe 16 gigabytes of storage. Um, you know, and just a just a regular basic phone okay i mean they still need they still need these things so it's not like you know yeah. whatever it's not yeah. the end of the world oh um, no 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 no. i mean they're still useful i mean they're, it'll probably be, be free to port in or dirt cheap if you upgrade or buy new um so these phones are still needed i mean like I, you know there's a lot of people that say these phones are just useless and not needed anymore but they really are there's there's a lot of people that don't want to spend a lot of money on the phone you know true true so let's see here, evolve. Um, look. So yeah, so that as far I so I know that it's coming, but I don't know I don't know the specs. Now I do know um, other the other phones that are coming like the A6. I know the price for that. I know the K LG K30. I know the price for that as well. Um, so we can talk about that. So. Guys in the chat, guys and g gals and ghouls and whatever you want to call you, whatever's in the chat right now, um, you know the the A6 for Metro PCS, um, with the porting deal or the everyday low price, what do you think you were? What do you think the price is going to be for the A6? Now I and don't you know. It. You don't I'm know sorry. it either. I don't know. I don't know it. So now this is going to be this, this here a port in price. A port and yeah, it's gonna be well. It's gonna be the everyday low price. Well, I was so, saying, I I, I, I want to guess port ends ninety nine or one forty nine. Whoa, no, we lost you, John. Your mic went out, man. Your mic's gone. Okay, there All you right. go. Better back. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Let me let me make sure. Let me just make double sure because I did get the info here. Now, now I was saying port in price. So I mean, the regular price probably around two ninety nine, three forty nine. That's what it. That's what it yeah, is. It's gonna, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be two ninety nine. That's the everyday low price. Now the the suggested retail price, like the regular price, is gonna be three fifty nine. Mm, okay. So I don't I don't know what the everyday low price is. That just like the price without porting? I don't know. I mean, you know, call just just call oh. it the Samsung. They have the sixty dollars off. That's what it is. Oh, okay. So okay. it's three sixty regular, and then two ninety nine with a port in. I bet. Okay. Okay. So yeah, because but, I know, because I know, because I know on the I want to say Stylo Four, it was you know one seventy nine, or if it was a new activation or upgrade, it was seventy nine. Then it was free with a port in. So I, I, I was kind of you know going by that, you know. All right, Luke Tech but Gaming, then, thank you for checking in, bro. But then, but you know, but but then again, you know, it's the it's Samsung. You know, Samsung's are going to be high anyway, you know, regardless of what it is. They're just going to be high. Now, for those that are saying that this and that, okay, everyday low prices for anybody. Ah, okay, 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 I got you. It's 100 off for any, for any Androids besides LG Q7. So, okay, so you might be able to get it for 360 so you might be able to get it for 260 I believe one of the best. I believe one of the best deals right now on a port in is the Boost Mobile LG G6 for forty nine ninety nine. That's probably the best deal right now on a port in. 
it would be one ninety nine because they take a hundred off. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. All right, because what I have is I have the suggested retail price and I have the everyday low price, so I don't have the forty in price. So, but I do have the information here. I literally have like the information right here. So it's not like I'm just pulling this out of a hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Which I know some people do, but no, not this guy. All right. And we're going to go ahead and go with the LGK30 as well, uh, since I have, and that's coming out on November 12th, guys. So it's still going to be a while, so a while away. So the LGK30, the everyday, everyday low price is going to be one twenty nine ninety nine. How do you feel about that? They can keep it. Dang. You don't like the LGK30? I've had phones like the K30. The only thing, the only thing missing was the fingerprint scanner. And, uh, I wasn't, it's just, it's just a basic phone. Um, I, I'm hearing the K20 plus is a lot better phone than the K30. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's what, that's what people were telling. That's what people were saying. Yeah. Huh. K20 is better than the K30 and it's cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The K20 plus I heard was a lot better phone than the K30. And then also, um, the Apple iPhone 6S Plus is coming back. It's making a return, apparently. They're relaunching it, uh, the 32 gigabyte model. So, and that's going to be 300 bucks. Uh, Tech News says the best port in style, uh, LG Style 04 because it'll be free and port into Boost Mobile. Yeah, but the Style 04 kind of sucks um, for, for Boost Mobile. That's why I said, in my opinion, that LG G6 port in for 50 bucks. For 50 bucks, you get, you, you're getting a phone five times better than the, than the Style 04 with a G6 on Boost for $50. That's not a bad deal at all. You're getting a, a one-year-old flagship. Um, for fifty dollars, while you get you, you're going to get a bottom of the barrel style for for free. That's what I was saying. Hmm. Let me look at this thing real quick. This is, actually tells me. Oh, I have the actual all the all the specs of the. I have all the specs of the A6 that they're going to come with. Hmm. Okay, so it's going to be a 5.6 HD plus 720p display. Hmm, I thought it was going to be, I thought it would be more than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for the price. Resolution is going to be 18 by 9. Uh, it's going to be a 16 megapixel camera on the back, 16 megapixel camera on the front. It's going to be an octa-core 1.6 gigahertz. And it's going to be 32 gigabytes of ROM, 3 gigabytes of RAM, expandable up to 400 gigabytes, 3,000 milliamp battery, and, you know, facial recognition, fingerprint scanner. And it does support the 600 megahertz band. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, the J7 Refine, you know, a lot of the J7s, are now come out with the same 1.6, you know, XNO7870, uh, which is what's in the A6. Uh, the only difference I think that I see between the refine, maybe maybe is the the RAM and the fingerprint scanner, because I think that the uh, J7 refine on Boost also has face recognition as well, um, with a 5.5 inch 16 by 9 display. I believe the cameras on it are 13 and 13 or 16 and 16. I'm not really sure one of the two and you can get it for, you know, a really like, like a hundred and like a hundred and a half, something like that. All right. Now we're going to bring in tech, right? Wants to invite. Oh, I missed, I must've missed, I must've missed that. What's that? What's that? Oh, the, the, he he wanted an invite. 
Oh, he he uh, he messaged me privately. Oh, okay. So I sent him an invite. All right. Um, okay. So for the LG thirty, LG K thirty, I have the actual specs. Right. I didn't even know I had the. I have the actual everything right here. Like the the Metro Ninja sent me everything. <laughs> the Metro Ninja. Okay. Design says my Metro Ninja boy. <laughs> Yo, what's up? All right. So the design is rear metal housing, curved glass edge for comfortable grip. 5.3 inch HD display with 2.5D glass. You got 13 megapixel phase detection autofocus on the back. Five on the front. It's a quad core 1.4. Memory is 32 gigabytes of ROM, two gigabytes of RAM. You got two terabytes of storage, which nobody's ever going to have. Yeah. Uh, face recognition, fingerprint For ID, 2,880 milliamp battery. Uh, video recorded playback at 30 FPS, 1080p, and it does support the 600 band. So that's that for LG K30. LG K30, damn, yeah, cool. what a let down, dude. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> right? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, that's what everybody's saying. Oh, damn, so call it what it is, dude. Yeah, true. I'm not here to, you know. Not here to shill, bro. Yo, what's oh, up yes. with these companies like Yuma Digi? They're 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 sending emails from their own business email, and they're saying Yuma Digi One Max leaked out. I'm like, <laughs> they're funny. leaking their own devices. I'm like, guys, come on, that's not how you do it, <laughs> right? And no one even cares. So it's no, no, it's funny. Okay, so I, w- I want to ask everybody how does how does my stream look tonight? How does it look? How does it look on y'all's end? Um, I know it's not in, you know, full screen. A lot of phones ain't full screen. Some of them are, but how does the stream overall look tonight? Does it look pretty clear? Is it pretty vibrant? Sound okay? How does everything look? Yes. Let us know how CB Tech looks tonight. Does he look gorgeous? Beautiful eyes. <laughs> Do it. Your beautiful eyes, that's what attracted me to you at first. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so, so, so the stream is good, great, looks good, pretty good, great, uh, great, good quality video. I'm actually right now on the ZTE Blade Max 2S. Hey, yes, Lit. my LED is set on low, so it's not even that bright of an LED right now. Um, and I'm on the Blade 2S Max or Blade Max 2S. Nice. I'm, yeah, I'm, on, a, it's clear. I'm on the secret ZTE Max 3V 10R <laughs> 20. <laughs> oh uh, Max yeah, that was pretty dope. That Instagram thing, that was pretty fun, dude. Yeah, it's a oh, secret, man. guys. I can't tell you exactly what phone it is, but it's. It's a ZTD. <laughs> so yeah, I want to let y'all if y'all let I want to see y'all give get y'all's opinion on how the how the stream looked before I told what what I was using. But yeah, that's what I'm using tonight. And uh, yeah, uh, sometimes I get these ZTE names confused sometimes. But um, yeah, what do you think about those Max but MacBooks? Uh... Jason Branch said. Okay, so the castle. Oh. I think. <laughs> Mac boats. How much are they? I mean, I know they're expensive. They gotta be expensive. Okay, so for the A6, it's gonna be 300 and now 300 everyday price. People are telling me that it's gonna be 100 off, so it's gonna be $200, supposedly recorded. I don't know. I, I know the everyday price and I know the resale price. That's what I know. What's up there? I'm a tech guy. Did Stefan? Stefan, you there? Oh, yeah, yeah. My bad, dude. Oh, you look like you were like like frozen or something. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna switch off to cricket. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, dude. I feel like crying. 
with yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm gonna freeze now, on one. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> Bro, it's cricket's something... gonna get stomped this yeah. holiday season. Something to frown about here. So we just get ready for this. Oh damn, I just got two checks from uh from from the target, man. Right, I gotta go, guys. Peace out, homies. I'll uh, probably Claire later if you're up still. I don't know. I gotta go to work at 10, dude. Like oh, 10 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Peace out, guys. Peace out, guys. All right, later, man. Everybody, man. <laughs> Take news, Thomas Cricket. Something to cry about. <laughs> no notification, girl. Hey, Lady Red, what's going on? So, yeah, also, um, like I say, if you haven't subscribed to me, CV Tech, the guy here in the car with the shades on, um, be sure to subscribe to me. I don't I don't have um, I don't have my link, so I can't put my link in there, unfortunately. Hey, Oscar, why don't you let me tell the news, brother? It's my stream. This dude's all like telling everything. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so you know, you know how that goes. Oh yeah. All right, so mm -mm -mm. Mm. which phone do y'all want to hear about? I like what Clay Melton says. Cricket has the tricks. Other curious have the treats. Yeah. Okay, which phone? Which phone does the chat want to hear about? Real quick, which which price? And if you work for Cricket, don't sell the dang prices in the in the. In the thing, in the Make chat, a YouTube yeah. channel, get a get an audience, and then y'all can go ahead and say whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, A six. Okay, everybody wants the A six. My bad. I've been holding that hostage, right? A six, A six, A six. All right. Let's do this. A six. <sighs> not ready for right. it uh, no they're not ready for it they're not ready all right guys what do you think <sighs> a6 okay guys samsung galaxy a6 let's go go ahead and name some prices guys go ahead and name some prices and i will say if you're right or wrong because this is just you, you don't even want you don't even want to know. Like I don't even want to say it on stream. That's how bad it is. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. Let's see here. Okay, Al Sherbert is actually really close. And really so close. is Ruthless Gang. R Ruthless Gang and El Sherbert is very close. Oh, Jason Brent, you told us not to. Well, if you work, if you work for cricket, don't say it. Don't say it. All right. Everybody is saying 350. That's pretty dang close. So I'm going to tell you guys, 350 is really close. Really close. 350 is really close. There we go. There, there we go. got Ruthless. it. 339. 339. So it's going to be $340. And now, the best of our on. knowledge. Go hold ahead. on. Hold on. Okay, so three hundred and forty dollars, right? Now, guess what the port in price is going to be? Y'all gonna love this. Guess what the port is? So three hundred forty dollars is the is the uh, retail price. Guess what the port in price is going to be? <laughs> love to take this free. <laughs> Never on cricket. Manaus is 300. I'm going to let y'all keep going. Samuel Karras is 329. Mm. Lady Red says 335. Somebody's going to get it. Michael Platt says poured in price, same as retail, question mark. <laughs> yes. No port in special whatsoever. Yep. So the price you pay for it new or upgrade will be the same price as a for a port in. Because we all know that Cricket does not really give any good port in specials. It's just... 
unless the phone's been out for like 10 years and then, then they might lower it by like 30 or 40 bucks. Yep. yep. I <laughs> mean, I, I mean, they're still wanting 139 and a port in for the idle five that's been out for what a year, year and a half now, year, a little over a year. For this game, so they tripping. I know. I don't know mm -hmm. what they're doing now, guys. Keep in mind, they might have some flash sales or some flash deals. These are going to be like the prices that are just in the store. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <sighs> but I'm just like, so like, oh, cricket, why are you doing this to me? Because my channel is mostly a cricket channel. You know what I'm saying? And I want it, I want something to be like really excited about. Uh, JJ King. Doing. JJ King, you probably can buy the unlocked version probably for sp probably somewhere like eBay or somewhere like that. This, if you buy it new, maybe for a lot cheaper, you probably could be honest. Mm -hmm. And then you pay three forty for the phone, then you pay twenty five for the activation. Then if you get the Mac, the, if you get the extra plan, that's extra sixty. So you know you're gonna it's gonna be over four hundred dollars out the door. Yep. For an A6, and in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Oh, specs? oh specs? Hold on. Specs, specs, specs. I think it's going to be the same. I'm pretty sure. Let me look, though. I do have this. Specs. Hmm. HD plus AMOLED Infinity Metal Design Grill Glass Five. Now it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. I think it's going to be the same phone all the way around. Okay, I have a question here for y'all. I mean, if AT and T is saying, you know, is telling Cricket what you can sell these phones for, whatever they're selling them for these ridiculous prices without any good deals. You does anybody else think that maybe AT and T is trying to kind of push them out slowly? Maybe just have AT and T and AT T prepaid. Like they're trying, maybe they're trying to kill cricket. Yep, maybe they're maybe they're trying to uh, kill cricket. Yeah, there are a lot better deals. I mean, you can get the essential phone for like three hundred dollars or a little bit more, and that phone would stomp the uh, the 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 uh, Galaxy A six, and it's fully unlocked for all four carriers. Um, I know because I have one. And I would buy that over an A6 any day, and you can buy that on Amazon. You can get it for a like my deal. I pay two fifty two fifty for mine on Amazon on their flat on their Amazon Prime Day or whatever. They're like three hundred and some dollars now, but that would be a whole lot better. Yeah, these prices are pretty spooky. Mana asks, can you confirm A6 has, has NFC for Metro? Does it say NFC for Metro? Does it say NFC for Metro? Let me go back. Actually, let's see here. Tech News, Thomas. Yeah, we we know all this stuff. I mean, we've been doing this for a long time. Um, and we know that these, I mean, you know, you, you have Sprint that, you know, owns Boost and they let Boost have, they, they pretty much do what they want to do. Um, they pretty much, you know, have the best deals. T Mobile and Metro, you know, Metro has really some of the best deals on the planet, really, for, uh, for, you know, for a prepaid carrier. Um, you know, but I honestly, when it comes to phone prices, I don't see where ATT should be uh, you know, really able to govern. Cricket's phone prices because, you know, even though Cricket runs on AT and T towers, so does Boost. Boost runs on runs on Sprint towers. Metro runs on T Mobile towers, and so you would think they would not be able to really govern as much on prices for phones. But you know, I don't know. Huh. And you know, you know what you know what they're saying about the Galaxy S nine. They're saying since the Galaxy S nine is. Seven hundred dollars. You get the A six for half the price. 
that's that's their big takeaway. Uh, but now the A6, it, it doesn't say anything about NFC. It's this full metal back. So I, I know there's some phones that have metal back and NFC, but this I don't believe this is going to have NFC. Yeah, and they're only charging so much for it because it is a Samsung. You know, if you had that, if you had that same exact phone with the same exact specs, same exact everything, and it was branded by LG, it'd be a hundred bucks cheaper. If it was branded by Alcatel, you get it for a lot cheaper. Um, it's just because you, it's just because of the Samsung name. We all know that Samsung adds a hundred bucks to the price tag. <laughs> you know, that's how it seems anyway. All right, guys. So, what what price do we want to hear next from Cricket Wireless? What device? What device? Tell me what device. We'll just pick one. So, everybody, I, I kind of like these when I have the prices to everything. We just like have to okay. You have to give them the price poured in or whatever for the awful Alcatel Tetra that you can buy at Walmart right now for forty bucks. <laughs> okay, everybody want to know the Tetra poured in price. Now, as y'all know, the Alcatel Tetra is their lowest basic 480p, 1.1 quad core, one gigabyte of RAM, worthless phone. Um, their port in price. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Oh my God. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's going to be $80. <laughs> Eighty dollars, man. I am just eighty. And, you and also, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I, I'll go ahead. Get, you can get this thing at Best Buy. I'm mean, not Best Buy at Target right now for forty dollars. Literally, I was at Walmart tonight, and AT and T has it for forty as well. The Tetra. I'm sure. Did you? And they want. Well, I did. I did. And and they want eighty bucks and a port in. I I hate to know the regular price. What is the regular price on that phone? If it's if it's eighty bucks and a port in, it's got to be at least a hundred or 110, 120 for that phone. It's full retail price, dude. No upgrade. Oh, right. oh. nothing. It's just eighty straight up. Yeah, eighty. That is a ripoff. Like I said, I went to Walmart tonight. I was looking at the phones before we, I came here in live. Well, uh, and they had the Alcatel Tetra for thirty nine ninety nine, uh, ATD prepaid. I'm like, that is sad. For eighty, and then going to Target and seeing it for half the price. <laughs> and and the SIM card is included in the box, so there's no activation fee. You know, so you go in there for Alcatel Tetra, pay eighty dollars in a poor DM plus twenty five plus your plan. Oh my goodness, you're gonna pay 150, 175 dollars, you know, out the door for a 480p 2014 version style style phone. I mean, come on. I mean, the Blade X is no longer free either. So the Blade X was free. It's not free anymore in a port in. Uh so I got mine at the right time. Um right. So, so what does everybody want to hear next? What's the next phone that everybody wants to hear? From crit, I'm telling you, man, this this is not good, guys. This is not good. If you if you like a price right now, you want to get it. This is not good. I will say this before you you know anybody say anything. If honestly, if you want to get a phone for really cheap and you want a really good phone, and if you can buy it, go with the ZTE Blade X. I'm serious, and we'll get into that here as well. Yes. Same song with Cricket, not even phased. <sighs> yeah, okay, so somebody said Supra. All right, we'll go with Supra. The Supra holiday the holiday promo. Promo. Da, 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 179.99. Period. Retail Upgrade port in one seventy nine ninety nine, and we'll go ahead and tell you right now. I'll go ahead and spoil this right now. 
LG Style 04, 230. What's the port in price? Oh, boy. Yo, everybody's like, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. No, like, like, this is just insane. Oh, that's what's up, Mill Hustles. The TCL on Total Rise of 29 at Target.com. Wow. Oh, you think you're going to get the quick flip? Oh, oh, no. no. No, no, no. You think you think you're gonna get the quick flip? They done raised the price on the flip phone, guys. They done raised the price on the flip phone. <laughs> so you thought you was gonna get it. Um let's see here. I seen a seen a question. Uh, <laughs> oh, now, uh, tech news talk. I don't know about, about the LG Phoenix 4. I don't own the phone. Yeah, they write, they raised the price on the flip phone, dude. I can't believe that. <laughs> How are you gonna raise the price on the flip phone, dude? They raised it to 40. Yeah, so even the flip phone is not free in the port in. That's sad. Hey, that's what's up, Michael Platt. Did you see they're adding Google Maps and some other apps to some flip phones now with KI K A I O S? Kind of cool. Hey, that's what's up. Robert Allen I think I might have to go to the ER cricket that made me sick. Yep. Now keep in mind, guys, they're gonna apparently they're gonna be having flash sales that are gonna last two weeks. So they might, they might, what they might be doing is they might be raising the prices right now. So when they flash the sale or they make a good sale, it looks really good. I think that's what they're doing. I think that's, you know what I'm saying? We still might have some hope, but right now it's looking really bad for the cricket team. Uh, David B. Asks, is the LG G6 worth the port in for 49? Absolutely. I mean, the LG G6 is like a last year's flagship phone for uh, for LG, and forty nine dollars. If you, if Boost is good in your area, I think it's a really good deal. What's going going on, Serpios or Ser, Serpico? Serpico eight seven five. Yeah, there you go, Serpico eight seven five. They watching your stream to see how we react, and possibly. I think that. I, I mean, th th they're they're just losing so much. What up? What's going on, Mill Hustles? What's going on, man? Nice light, dude. I don't know what they're <laughs> doing, CB, but it seems like all their total wireless devices are like 30 40 percent off and cheaper than Walmart's. Mm. Yeah, I seen the TCL for straight talk for thirty nine tonight. Yeah, they, the total wireless one is twenty nine at, at uh, Target. So, which one would you pick up? I mean, you can use both of them on either. So, well, honestly, um, I mean, it would cost me. It would cost me probably that in gas to go up there and back. Uh, um, okay. So it probably honestly would kind of even out. True, true. Yeah, I grabbed a uh, J three Orbit for seventy bucks. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. Reveal, more like nose hair reveal. The only thing is, is that when I went to the Target up the road from work, they wouldn't price match the website for some reason. Really? So I just, huh. Yeah, it was weird because it was such a big price difference. Yeah. So I, they just said, dude, just buy it online. Well, the, the, I remember uh, when I got my iPhone 6 at Target, 
the online price, they made a mistake, I believe, because it was one ninety nine, and they had the iPhone six for one thirty nine list price online. So I screenshotted it. Uh, I learned to screenshot these things now, uh, and then I then I drove all the way to Target to get it, and uh, they and it was no longer on the website. They took it off the website from, from the time it took me to get from where I live to the Target. They took it off the site. So one target wouldn't honor it. They're like, no, we can't do anything about it. So I went to another target down the road, and uh, they actually honored it. They actually couldn't pull it up on the website to, to prove it. But when I see my screenshots and the date and time that it was that I screenshotted it, um, they actually done a bunch, done a bunch of gift cards to they match the price of one thirty nine. So that's why I got the iPhone six. So I got it for one thirty nine, and regular price was one ninety nine. They, they, they made a mistake, and I didn't know the bad mistake. But they're like, yeah. So I got a good deal on that. It's funny because the iPhone six right now at Straight Talk is one forty nine. Yeah, and everybody's asking for the gold one, but if there's no gold, they'll take the space gray. Yeah. All right, guys. So, what phone do you think is going to be free for Cricket Wireless this None. coming holiday season? No. So, I'm talking to the chat. Oh, but still. Yeah. Uh, okay, so which which phone is going to be the free phone, the 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 savior to crypto wireless? <laughs> yeah, there you I go. I this. <laughs> LG style up now, right? Yeah, right. I mean, these I don't know, bro. These people are just like I, I don't know what they're smoking, but it's it's some good stuff. There is no, there's not even free candy. <laughs> Idol three, right? Idol five. No, <laughs> Idol five. Uh, okay, one thirty nine. I would definitely go for that if it was free. Yeah. No, it's one thirty nine with a port in, dude. <laughs> it's still, it's still high price. If you're considering an Idol Five, just buy. Just pay the difference about Idol Five S. Believe me, you'll you'll like it. You, you'll you'll thank me later because I'm te- the Five S is much better than the Five. All right, how about this? How about this LG Harmony Two? LG Harmony Two. How much you guys think the LG Harmony Two is going to be? Two forty nine with a port. <laughs> <laughs> Let Let's go with the, uh, LG Harmony Two. Oh my god. I'm literally, I'm like, like literally sick to my stomach. How much is the LG Harmony two? You know, it's getting to the point where if you really want to get CV, I mean CV Cricket service, and Cricket service is good, but it's like you're better off just buying the SIM kit at Best Buy or Target or something. There you go, Michael Platt got it on the nail right there, one thirty nine. Yep. What do you think, CB? No forty yeah. price. Ahead, honestly, bro. I honestly I think that you know, I mean, there's, I mean, I mean, the most expensive phone right now you can buy like Best Buy or whatever for Crick is like what ninety nine bucks, and that's like the um the G six Forge, um, you know, the SIM card comes in the box. It was no activation. You know, you can also like you say pay ten bucks or whatever for a SIM kit. You buy an unlocked phone, you know, that's going to be a lot better, in my opinion. Um, the one that's tied down to a carrier. That's personally what I would do. I, that's just my personal opinion. Or I buy just, it online. I feel yeah. so bad for like the retail employees of Cricket, bro. People are going to go running out of there and they're going to be, they're going to go right across the street. They're going to see Metro and they're going to be like, oh my God, look at all these wonderful, beautiful prices. Yeah, and I mean, and I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, you know, like we mentioned earlier, you know, I, I, I have a feeling that those that are around 25 years of age and younger care more about phone than they care about how actually the service is going to work reception wise, because, you know, a lot of them going to be dealing, you know, you know, you know, relying on Wi-Fi and stuff like that, you know, so. 
you know, I believe, I believe there's still a big, big market out there that's going to pay those prices on cricket because they work on the AT and T network and they care more about reception than they care about, you know, a really nice flashy phone. Um, but like I see a big, a big audience target audience is going to be like, Hey, Metro has this phone here for free or for 50 bucks or whatever. And it's like 300 at cricket and I can get it here for like 50 bucks or even free. And then they don't really care about the reception. They just care about the phone. So that, that well, that's kind of how I look at it. Cricket Wireless did this, like, I think it like it was like two or three years ago, where they were like, oh, well, if people get the phone for free, then they don't tend to stay with the company. They tend to move on really fast. So they're trying to get people to at least spend 10 or $20 on the phone. That's their, like, their thinking right now. I mean, I think really the best phone right now in a port in on Cricket would be the Blade X, and it's nine ninety nine. Uh, it's ten bucks for a port in for the Blade X. It was free because um, I got mine last week and it was free. Um, but now it's ten bucks. And if you can find that phone, that's a phone that I would highly recommend. Um, if you want to stay, you know, cheap because ten bucks is well, what, what's ten bucks? You know, yeah. If you, if you, if, and, yeah. And I mean, if you order it online, there's free. I, I guess it's still free activation, free shipping. You know, so if you get the lowest plan, thirty bucks, pay ten dollars for the phone, forty bucks, you're ready to you're ready to roll. Um, hey, CB, you know, yo, CB, how about that new ZTE you got, bro? Oh man, using it right now actually uh, on this live stream. But uh, how were the first impressions? I don't mean the YouTube ones. I mean your personal ones. Personal impressions, I I really like it. I mean. Um, it reminds me a lot, um, spec wise, like, you know, like, like some of the old, some of the other blade, some of the other ZTE phones. Um, but yeah, I'm so far, man, I am really liking the ZTE phone. I mean, I like it's a really, it looks, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Oh man. Th the color they chose for it, where it goes from like a lighter color to a, to a darker color has a bit of a sparkle in it. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just got a really nice, it's got that, like, like that, like that acrylic plastic or whatever on a lot of phones you're seeing, uh, on the back. Um, uh, I think it's got a metal, you know, a metal size and all like that, but the back is like an acrylic plastic and, um, you know, the six is inch, the six inch full HD, 18 by nine, um, you know, full 1080, um screen looks really really nice the cameras that you're seeing them right now i'm live streaming right, right now from the front camera with an led and everybody was saying how you know, they look really good um you know uh, battery do what how about the price that was the best part i i honestly don't know don't, don't know the price i think it's 179 mm, okay yeah cause, uh, that's one thing there i didn't know yeah um Oh, uh, the May 20 Pro. I might be ordering that next week. Not the May 20 Pro. I'm sorry. The 8X Max. The Huawei 8X Max. Oh, the 8X Max. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It does have US bands. A friend of mine already has one. Um, I still want a 10R. Yeah. I wish I could afford a May 20 Pro in red or in Twilight. ZT knows what people want. Good phones, great prices. Yep. Sure, I'm man. sorry. Did you say ZTE or Huawei? ZTE. I, I heard Huawei for a second. No, sir. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think the ZT phones are great, man. I think it's just the things that's going to hurt them a little bit with the sales and all that. Um, but then I think they're going to, like, like, they're not planning on like super duper selling up, you know, selling out or anything like that. Um, you know, obviously not being on Metro Cricket booth, that was like one of the bread and butter type things, you know? Well, I mean, that's the, what they got y'all for. I mean, the really good thing about this ZTE phone here is it is one of the first, or if not the first um, phone, ZTE phone that this uh, did a work on Sprint, work on Boost, also on GSM carriers. Um, I, you know, I, right now it's on Sprint. Um, and, um, it works on Sprint. I put in my, my cricket SIM card. It worked. I put in my better SIM card. It worked. So it is CDMA GSM. I did put in my total wireless Verizon SIM card. I got voice calls, but I couldn't get data to work. 
So I might have to Maybe work around that. The APN settings? Did you change the yeah. APN? I, I didn't go I didn't go fully into it with APN settings. Um but like I said, I had service. I could make voice calls. It was clear as a bell. Um, but with cricket, I had great service with it. Uh, with better sim, it worked, and it worked. It's, it's, it, it, and it's compatible with with Sprint and Boost Mobile as well. So you know, it's really awesome. Um, you know that it's you know that it's CD, CDMA GSM. Um, and like I say, I mean the phone just works, and it, it works really good. I downloaded all my games and apps that I normally download. When I test them out and everything. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to play and how it's going to work out. It does have two gigabytes of RAM, and I know that scares people. Um, but ZTE seems to a lot of times have pretty good RAM management. It's a, it's very stock Android. So there's really basically nothing on the phone whenever you get it. I mean, it's got the, you know, it's got the Dolby audio as well, um, you know. And I mean, it's 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 really it's a really nice phone. I mean, I've not had, I don't have any complaints right now. I tell you what, though, I do think the ZTE trolled us. You know why? Because do you remember a couple of months ago there were leaked pictures and blueprints of a notch ZTE device? I think they did that on purpose <laughs> just to get everybody upset. And they're like, Oh, well, here's these two awesome devices. Thank you for doubting us. Right. Oh yeah. It's very done with double notch. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. We know. Uh, yeah. The, the, that's what I heard too, to the two S was such as the max XL. Um, and everything, but this one here is uh Sprint Boost and GSM compatible. Um, and it's just an overall really, really nice phone. Michael Platt says, I'll wait on the, on the ZT Blade Max View reviews first before I buy it since I had lots of issues with the ZT Blade X Max. You know, the Blade X Max gave me a lot of issues too, but the Blade Z Max didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, I still would like a red iPhone 10R. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, me oh, too. Man. I saw one in person today. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of comments of about NFC here lately, and I mean, I don't first. use NFC. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, I don't use NFC, and I don't trust it. I don't so either. I, upset, I don't. When people get upset about NFC, I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm like whatever too. I'm like you know, it don't have NFC. Whoop de do, you know? You know um, what NFC stands for? Nobody freaking cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding. I mean, I mean, I I know that NFC is important to some, you know, to some, whatever. But I would say to probably ninety percent of the population, no. I mean, if you say, do you use NFC? What's NFC? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there, there's going to be that 10% is going to be like, yeah, I use NFC, I use Samsung Pay, I use Apple Pay, but I was probably dare say 90% of the people, if you ask them about NFC, well, what's that? What's NFC? I never heard of it before. Or they'll be um, like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you know, I, I know that some like it, and so if, if some use it as our daily thing, then more power to you. Um, but Myself personally, and I know you know the NFC is not a is definitely not is definitely not a deal breaker for me. Yeah. I, also, what do you think is more embarrassing? Your card declining, or you repeatedly tapping your phone onto the card reader and it not working? <laughs> Probably both. They need to carry plastic on the phone. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we are trusting and everybody is trusting and relying on their phone so much, and I and. I'm sorry. I just don't trust it that freaking much. I mean, especially with a bank account and all that kind of stuff and for pay. I mean, I, nah, I just, I don't trust it. I just don't. I mean, I know some people do and all. It's fine. Credit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, imagine I, if you're out somewhere and then all of a sudden your battery dies. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh-huh. Around, and you need it. Oh, oh, I need to get home. Like, no. Yep. Or if you have to call a tow truck, the car breaks down. You got, you got to get it towed. You got to pay somebody. 
these places don't these places don't offer that no no NFC pay. Okay, I mean, <laughs> you know. Imagine, imagine tow truck driver, hey man, can I slide my phone in, into your thing? Yeah. Boy. <laughs> oh man. See me, I'm telling you, bro, there's just so many folks coming out faster than I can get the money together for them. I, uh, it's man. Crazy. <laughs> You ain't telling me nothing, man. No, I'm, I, I'm just, I, I feel you, man, 100. percent One year um, ago, one year ago, you and I were talking about how phones were coming out too fast, and mm-hmm. now it's ten times worse. It is. There's a lot of phones right now. If I had, if they gave me like a 30 minute shopping spree on phones, where I could get any phone I want to get, or a, a 10 minute shopping spree is all I, is all I need. I mean, yeah. All right, I'll give you five seconds to answer this question. Best Buy or Amazon? Where would you buy the phones? One, oh. two, three, four, five. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, uh, uh, well, I keep Amazon. I, well, I would say Best Buy if I could pick it up that day, like if they had it in store. And I could buy it and pick it up that day. Well, oh, yeah, true. where I live at, you know, it's like they never have the phones in stock. So I, would, I wouldn't mind yeah. waiting, but it'd be guaranteed. Amazon is good because, you know, if you're a Prime member, you can usually get it the next day if you order before a certain time or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if I want a phone, I'll call around. If I got it in stock, I'd rather buy it from a store. I can get it that day. Um, but if it's going to be like a, if, it's, if, if Best Buy is like, well, it's going to be five days before it comes in and Amazon, I can get it in like a day, then I'm going to go Amazon. Absolutely Amazon. Yeah. Like now, whenever I'm looking to, for porting deals, like I just call the store before and be like, Hey, I'm looking to switch over to y'all. What free phones do y'all have in stock? Cause if I just call and say what free phones I have, they might not want to tell you. Yeah, you know, it, like like tech news there said so NFC is good to use if you don't want to about the credit card and want to look cool in front of customers. Yeah, it, it's more like a you pretty much said it there. It's more like you know, well look look what my phone can do. And most people can be like, who cares? You know, right. and most people and most people's gonna be like, there's no way I'd do that. There's no way I trust that. You know, and I mean if it's if it's secure, it's secure. But honestly, I I just I don't know. I mean. Do you remember uh, the old Samsung data transfer where you would put the Samsung against another one? Mm-hmm. Like that was okay for a while, and I guess they stopped doing it. But that's how people would transfer their pictures and contacts. Was just that's what I would do. Um, when I when I did use NFC, if I had like a picture on one phone and the other phone had NFC, and I want to transfer, I would just put them together. And that got annoying because it was like if you if you moved it any at all, it it, it it would interrupt it or it would fail or something like that. I, yeah, Robert Allen, I've only seen one person out of all the shopping that I do. I've only seen one person just the other day use their phone to pay for something and they was having trouble with it. You know, I've seen a few people try to use NFC when I worked at Target and now at Walmart and you sit there, you know, boom. Boom, boom, mm-hmm. and it doesn't work. And I mean, I mean, I up. mean, I mean, this dude was having such a hard time with with his phone trying to pay for whatever he was buying. I mean, he, he was he was there trying to pay for it for like, I don't know, two or three, four minutes. And it just, I don't know if it, I don't know if it ever did, I don't know if it ever worked or not. And I was like, seriously. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold, hold on, guys. We need, we need a moment of silence. The Acatel verse, though, is going end of life. So that was fast. <laughs> the Octel Versal, man, the, the champion of a phone. Mm. It says it's going on end of life effective immediately. Hey, you know what's sad about that? They're going to make whoever has the phones in stock, Cricket's going to make the uh, retailer pay like 100 or $150 for each one. Wow. I'd be like, you know, I I don't know what these contracts entail, but I would be like, no, nah, I'm not paying that much for that phone. Y'all can have them. Right. And then Cricket will turn around and find them and still make them pay for the phones. 
Cricket is the death row records of prepaid. You wanna know what you wanna know what a guaranteed fail safe is for buying stuff? Don't buy it. No. Cash. Cash. Oh yeah. Well, there's, no, there, 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 there's nothing worse for shopping than going on a Black Friday like I did a couple of years back, and I had a card, and I stood in line for like an hour and a half, two hours, and I got to the dead gun cashier, and my card declined every single time. Luckily, it had cash on me because I would have been so – I mean, I was ready to just chew out that card company because I know the card was good. Um and for some reason, it was just declining every single time. And I'm like, I either used another card or I had cash or whatever. And that's and so, yeah, any Black Friday shopping I do this year is going, I want to be sure I have the cash and not even going to screw around with any credit cards because, yeah. No, and that's right around the corner. Three weeks, man. Are you uh, ready? You should, you should vlog. Just don't get ran over. <laughs> by, the, by the mob of the people, the stampedes. Honestly, honestly, I what every time that I've went Black Friday, I mean, I would say probably the most tame was about well, I think it was two or three years ago. I went on Black Friday, and Walmart. It looked like a really busy Saturday night. I, I mean, it was not even that busy, and I'm like, I was it, shocked because I mean, I walked right in there. I walked right in there, got what I wanted to get. There was nobody in line. They had, of course, they got every checkout line open. There was, I mean, there was there was cashiers standing standing at the end of the line. I mean, half of their half half of them was empty, and I was like, man, that is just crazy. You got to go um, Thursday night. That's when it's craziest. Thanksgiving Thursday. That, that's night. when I go. That's that's really? when I go. Wow. Because yeah. I remember last year when I was working, not last year, the year before when I was working for Target Tech. It was my first Black Friday, and I literally saw a stampede of people coming towards us. I was like, "Oh my god!" It was insane. Yeah, I, I I just dart in and out, uh, you know, of people. I mean, yeah, I go on the Thursday when the doors open at six p.m. or five p.m. or whatever. I am usually there. Um, are, you gonna, are you gonna camp out, grill? Nah, before they open. Do <laughs> I don't know. No, nah. look at this. See, you guys remember that the mm -hmm. alternate, the all the alternative to PayPal. Yes, the Google Wallet. Yeah, they can't. I can't believe they canceled this thing. So I did have Google Wallet back in the day, and I used to use NFC. That's why I hate it. So, hey, what did you guys cancel Google Wallet? There? I don't know. I don't know. I, I used to use Google Wallet all the time, dude. I loved it. And then they used to actually um, um, used to be able to like transfer from prepaid accounts and all this other stuff. And me and my wife used it all the time, dude. And all of a sudden, they just all the features kept going and losing and bye bye. And then, you know what I'm saying? They just killed it. Now, yeah, yeah. It, it, I know they, they killed it a while back. Yeah, they no, yeah they killed this thing a long time ago. But this thing was. But talking about talking about Black Friday though. Um, you know, one thing that I, I, I don't, I don't agree with it though. I don't agree with black Friday being on a Thursday. I bet. That, that, or I mean, open at midnight, you know, I mean, if, if, if you want to do it, uh, open at midnight, I mean, it's, I mean, you know, uh, you know, the can I mean, these stores are so greedy and pathetic. They got to compete with everybody that they, they can't even get their employees one day off for Thanksgiving with their families. Exactly. They got to be stuck. They got to be at Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and all these other stores ready for ready. I mean, I, to me, that makes no sense. I mean, yes, I go myself, but they're not going to stop it just for one for one person, you know. And believe me, people people ain't going to sit there and take a stand and say, "No, we're not going to do this on Thursday. We're going to wait wait till Friday to do this." And so some companies not, are not even giving their employees bonuses anymore. Yeah, so I mean, they're honestly they're not going to stop because a couple of people say well we're not gonna we're gonna, we're gonna boycott because you're doing you, you're doing it on a thursday no so yeah i go on thursday and do it myself um but i don't mean i gotta i gotta agree with it you know because I, I mean i think it's kind of bad that they can't give one day 
oh, you guys, look, this is this is the last time cricket was really good and had really good specials right here. This is this is the they were giving out this card right here. It was a hundred dollars they actually gave you on this card right here. They gave you a hundred dollars and a fifty dollar promotion. So you literally got like a hundred dollar um, credit and then a fifty dollar credit or something like that. It was crazy, man. They gave you a lot that year, and this is. As you can see this thing has expired since 2016. So you that's when the, that's that's when it was awesome. You remember I, that, Mel, right? Of, oh, of course, bro. When I was there, bro, the deals were great. Great deals. We used to have nonstop business. People would upgrade every like freaking two or three weeks because we had such great deals. Now let me now. You know what's funny? AT and T prepaid has better deals than Cricket. Mm -hmm. No activation fee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So lots of new phones coming. You got the ZTE. I got the A six and the J three coming. I can't wait till you compare that phone to the uh, blue. Yeah. How yeah. are they in size though? What's the size difference? Um well the, the the blue um the blue looks looks and feels smaller. Mm -hmm. I mean you got a five point nine inch display on the blue, six inch display um on the ZTE, but honestly the ZTE looks uh, looks a, a lot taller. It may not be, but it looks a lot taller. Ah, okay. Serpio says, I'm in a wheelchair. Good luck on me going to Black Friday. I would get mowed down by people running. I mean, they're usually civilized. They, you know, they hand out numbers and all that stuff. I mean, they're yeah. crazy. Now, I, I mean, you know, in, in an area that I'm at, you know, is, is it's pretty busy. I mean, I, I normally get there around 530. Um, if, the, if, the, if, they, if they start at 6 o'clock, I get there around 530. I'll go in and I'll just walk right. We'll, we'll walk right in. Everybody's already in the store. Everybody goes to the. Everybody goes to the sections they want to be in. So it's it's pretty calm, you know. I mean, the first. I mean, you know, I go to one specific section and stand there with everybody, talk to people, um, just just chit chat and everything else. And uh, then whenever you know the time hits and it starts, then it's like vultures. But it's it's kind of. People ain't knocking you down. The, the The biggest problem with Walmart and anywhere else is the freaking shopping carts. Because I mean, you, you got a little tight space, and you got people with shopping carts everywhere, and that is that that's a pain. Yeah, I mean, they had, I know they at the Target I worked at, they had, I think they had two or three police officers, uh, like literally at the store. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, with with this one, there's something over there in the sky. It, it's just hovering there. It's a UFO. I mean, I mean, it's going up. It's, it's going up a little bit, then it drops a little bit. It's uh, it's right over yonder. You're uh, Independence Day. Do what? Independence Day. Turn the camera on. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you, uh, you probably couldn't see it from here. Yeah, that's probably like you know. I love UFO stories. I'm not gonna it's lie, especially when people confuse weather equipment for ufos or like what are those unidentified lights in the sky i would love that stuff no hustle mm -hmm. i have to ask you a serious question bro yes sir. yes sir have we gone to the moon yes or no yes <laughs> cv tech says we did not go to the moon bro. i don't believe no. we went to the moon i've heard theories from believers and non-believers you know what i think I think that Mars was originally where we lived and we abandoned it because we messed it up so bad. And now Earth. That Have you ever heard that theory? I've never heard of that theory, but that, no. that seems like a... I mean, because they got the rivers and the streams and all that. Well, they used to, supposedly. Yeah, I honestly... The reason, I mean, I think the whole deal with the moon thing in 69 was the deal that... You know, Russia was going to do it, and the U.S. wanted to do it before they did it. So, 
I believe they just kind of fabricated the whole thing, made up, made a whole set that looked like the moon. Uh, that's my opinion. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, there's people that back you up too. So it was some people. I mean, there were people saying that it's impossible for a space shuttle to go through the atmosphere or something like that. So, you know, it's all, I guess, look at it uh, subjectively. You believe you believe the Earth is round, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oof. All right. Does any, anybody believe the Earth is flat in here, guys, in the chat? Because I know there's some people that actually believe the Earth is flat. That's crazy. I, know, yeah. I do believe that we have not, like, people are worried about what's out there, and I think that we haven't researched our own planet enough. And there's still things that are, that are like, that we don't know about on our own Earth. That you know, some pretty terrifying stuff. It is flat. It is flat. I would <laughs> My wife said it's flat. My friend I mean, is a flat earther. I mean, I don't know. I don't care how much gravity there is. The Earth is a triangle. Look it up, oh boy. The Earth is a pizza pie. Here, you want? You want? Uh, you got a little but yeah, I just heard about that whole moon thing a little uh, not long ago, and I'm really big into astronomy. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's you know, it's pretty fascinating stuff. All right. So, Earth, Moon, everything like that. Okay, let's move on to. I don't want to do religion, obviously, for obvious reasons, but Moon and all that looks different. Um, the Moon was out today. Huh? The Moon was out today. The Moon was out today? I like to see the Moon in the sky. The Moon day. Oh, and by the way, y'all, that, hey. that, 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 that was just an airplane. That, that, that I seen, I, I, it went, it, it, it flew over me, and I see it was an airplane. So yeah, no, no, it, no. Uh, man, no, I can't what, believe they, they want ninety dollars on the port in for the LG Stylo Three. That's just ridiculous. They want for the Samsung Amp Prime Three. They want ninety dollars. Great state. You see my phone? What? What? What's wrong? You see my phone? What? What? What's wrong? I only dropped it one time. I only dropped it one time. And you see what my stream was like? I wouldn't pay ninety dollars to use it for a day. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, her phone is trash now, guys. The LG Stylo Three in pink. I have fifty-two people watching still. So. My phone was fine. Like it's in a small corner. Literally. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, Mel Hustle's story for us, sir. My bad. I'm back. What's up? Oh, we need some news stories from you, bro. Some news? Some news. Well, there's not a whole lot. Um... There's a new video coming tomorrow, but it's like I already told y'all about it. So, oh, okay. The the TCL. Oh video yeah, it's coming tomorrow, so y'all can check that out. It's just like you know, a review of the specs. Oh, have you gamed on the ZT phone yet, CB? Not yet. I uh, downloaded them all today, but I uh, didn't get a chance to play any of them yet. What do you that? What'd you download? Just a, just a, all the games I download for all my gaming tests. You know, I download some lower graphic intense up to you know up to like PUBG. So I, I downloaded snake. a bunch. Do what? No snake. No, no snake. No, no snake. So did y'all talk about the new iPads? I don't think we did. Nah. <laughs> I think I just seen. I think covered that. Oh, of course. <laughs> Didn't she? Or she said she ordered like the one terabyte one for. Nineteen hundred dollars or something like that. Oh please. Um, T-Mobile says that more people lined up for the One Plus 60 than the iPhones. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. What's going on, Paul Tech? How's it going? Uh, what do you mean, Zenoretin? Where's your two five go? I was waiting for. Uh, oh, uh, I I released it earlier. Uh, than, than um, I released it earlier. Hey, uh, CV, are you getting the other ZTE phone? No. Oh man, Paul Tech, what's the next video, bro? That we're gonna see from you? I've been waiting for a Paul Tech video. I need some high quality video. I th I think Paul Tech the the night nice said that that he ain't making no more videos. Really? But maybe maybe he'll confirm here. Um, 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 um. Oh, I didn't see that. Was he was he in the live stream or something? It was in my my late 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 night live stream the other night. Uh, last night. Yeah, last night. Been a month and no videos from me, unfortunately. <laughs> so, so Paul, is 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 it true that there, there there's gonna be no more videos from you? Are you gonna give like a farewell video, or are are you gonna take it, or is it gonna be videos coming in the future? Because I can't really remember. Um, I I know we talked about it just last night in the live stream, or whatever. But you know, I forget things very easily. Hope this TCL isn't trash. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, I bought it. I bought it tonight, actually. You know, um, I activated a few of them. Mm -hmm. And it's a solid device for its price. Yeah, you know, I actually, basic, it uh, activated pretty quickly. It's ten times better than that uh, cool pad phone. Oh, I'm sure. Um, I I did buy it tonight because I've never seen a TCL phone. I know that they're in with like Alcatel and all like that, but this is TCL, actual TCL. So TCL I mean, I, usually I, makes televisions. Yeah, yeah, TCL makes TVs. Mm -hmm. They're in with all them. So I really had, and TCL was also BlackBerry uh, and Palm. Uh, so I definitely had. To, I mean, forty. You know, <laughs> you cut me bro. Uh-oh. No hustles, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh-oh. CV tech done. Cut out. Connection issues. And there you go. Nope. Uh, CV, you there? Uh-oh. CV, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear y'all. Okay, okay, yeah. You cut it, a little, cut it out a little bit. They also... Are a subsidiary of Palm, bro. Like, you remember the Palm Pilots? Mm hmm. So that's cool. They yeah. Really and, thing. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and I, I, I'm, like I said, I, I'm hoping, I, I'm really hoping that, you know, this will be a decent little phone. I want to try, I'm definitely going to unbox it and try it out and everything. Um, because it's TCL. And like I say, I've never seen a, T, a, a actual phone by TCL. They, they may have been some, but I've never seen any. And for 40 bucks, I mean, it, it's worth trying out, you know. Um, it's the same price as that garbage cool pad alumina. Um, so of, course, of course, that's on Boost Mobile and Virgin Mobile. Um, it's much better, the TCL. Oh, I, is, I, I activated one today and it took, it was quick. Is, is the screen HD or 480? I believe it's 480. Oh. I, I have to check. Let me see. I'll tell you right yeah. now. Yeah, 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 Pittsburgh fan. I, I, I seen, I seen your question. I, I, I really, I'm trying. Let me go back and read it. Hang on. Um, I'm going to buy an iPhone six six plus for two fifty five silver off eBay. It comes with lightning cable, headphones, wall adapter. Do you think that's a good price? I don't think it's a good price. Um, I mean, if it's used. Six plus for two fifty five off eBay. I'd be very very careful if you buy a yeah. used iPhone. I would not do eBay. that. I would just go with the iPhone six, brand new for one hundred and fifty at Walmart. Yeah, it doesn't say, bro. I'm looking at the specs right now. All yeah, it says I, five point eight, two point seven. 
Yeah, I doubt yeah, it's an HD display. Yeah. Of course, I'll look it up and I'll put everything in there whenever I unbox it and everything. But um, yeah, the um, the, yeah, working two jobs right now, so not much time these days. I, I got you, man. I understand all of that. I understand that. Before I buy a ZT phone, I want to wait to see if they are defective. Well, I, well, the one I got right now works perfect. TV, I wonder how you reacted when you saw the mailman drop it off. Huh. Oh, man. It was, it was the deal, man. It was a deal. Uh, yeah. I know, dude. I remember when I got my page, C-Max. I remember on a live stream it popped in. What? The Blade Z Max. You oh, yeah. It was delivered to you on a live stream, and then people were mad because you couldn't unbox it right then and there, and they started trolling you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Sean White, the, the ZTE Blade Force, I heard was... It, there was something just not right with that phone. Um, the Blade Force... But the blade is a lot better um, than the um, than the blade force. I'm not really sure what was wrong with the blade force, but most people that had it said it was it was pretty defective. I don't know why. I think we lost Mill Hustles there. He cut out, or he either dropped a call or something. Yeah, or yeah. Maybe. I'm on AT and T. I'm on AT and T Net Buddy tonight. I'm not on T Mobile. I'm not. I'm. Um, you know, so yeah, I'm on NetBuddy tonight and had that one little cut out, but I moved the uh, hotspot and it seemed to keep back in, keep back on. NetBuddy, 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 wherever I go. Oh, I can't even say he goes. <laughs> oh, what's up? I just, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll tell you later. All right. Hmm. Hey, I, uh, so guys, it's almost gonna be midnight. I'm gonna have to actually go to work at 10, 10 in the morning. So I'm actually gonna try to sleep tonight a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh. You know. You know. Sean White says battery life was bad, and text messages came in duplicate time. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Duplicate, duplicate messages, and bad battery life. Um. That's what I heard about it as well. I actually wanted to get one for myself because they had they had it free and it poured in, but. Every boost store I went into, they didn't have it. So I was like, I gave up on it. Magic Tech, what's up with the word rinky dink? Rinky dink? Rinky dinky? Oh, that's just a, it's an old school term people used to, people used to use uh, that they don't use anymore. A lot of use it. See, yeah, some people still use it. Parents probably still use it. Just old school. Huh? I don't know. Tech yeah, news topics. That's that. I'm not going live tonight. No. Hey, what's going on, Rose Jane? How's it going? No, I'm not going live tonight. Hey, three Metro by T-Mobile ads already. Wow. Metro by T-Mobile must love me, man. And uh, tech tech news, Thomas. Why do you ask? That about the word rinky dink. Uh, CHTO, I don't think I have a Costco nearby. Uh, I don't, I mean, I may, but I don't really, I don't really go a lot of places. So, are you doing a review on blinky phone cases? You can, y'all can press one a hundred thousand times a night, but I ain't going live. So, Dead. Oh, man. Love tech. I wish I did get the iPhone 10 R today, product red. I would love to get my hands on it. And I can buy it. I can buy it right now. It'd be on credit, but I could buy it. Um, I can't afford it because it would be on credit and that'd be a that'd be a pretty good size bill every month that I cannot afford right now. But I could, but I choose not to because you know, I got I got a budget, and uh, I I, uh, I have a suggestion for you, bro. What's that? 
And I'll give you two options. Remember, with Mill Hustles, you got options. Smart pay or progressive leasing? Neither. Or rent rent to center? Neither. None of the three. (laughs) Spamming them ones in there. Yeah, I ain't going live tonight. I, 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 I'm shoot. I'm getting tired, and I'm still gotta drive home. Oh man! <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm really interested. What do you mean somebody did a review on Dinky Cases? I'm really interested. Who, who's the YouTuber that did a uh, review on Dinky Cases today? Is there such a thing? I I don't know. I've never heard Dinky. I've never heard Rinky. Got my new got my new fire stick today. Hey, what's up? I don't have a fire stick. I don't have a Chrome. What is that? That um, Chromecast. No, I'm not. I, I'm telling you, I'm not going live tonight. It ain't happening. Uh-oh, Mel, have you seen my question? What's the question? Uh, I don't know. I spammed a whole bunch of ones. So. Um, P- Pittsburgh fan asked... Uh, uh, Mill is iPhone unlocked from Walmart or are they CDMA plus GSM? No, they are neither. They are straight talk, total wireless, or Boost Mobile. Boost Mobile or Verizon? Boost Mobile. We sell iPhones, iPhone 6s for Boost Mobile, straight talk, and total wireless, as well as family mobile. But they are not unlocked. Guys, yeah. if you have to buy something, what's just the best thing to buy? Was it Fire Stick? Uh, what's the other one? Roku? What else is there out there? They're all the same. The only thing about the Fire Stick is easier to hack. That's it. Easier to hack? I honestly have never been into streaming sticks. I mean, I have a Roku, but, you know. <laughs> See, it still says rent a cockroach. Yeah, I, I I've been in rental centers, and I uh, yeah, I just get a bad vibe from the places. Yeah, yeah. no, I like going there. I, I've been in there sometimes. You know, the good thing about rental center is they do same as cash. You know, like if you take like a month or two to get the money together, you know, the same as cash is always good. What's funny is next door, there's a store called Kimbrell's Furniture. And guess who they finance through? Progressive. Mm. Magic Tech Google Chromecast. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know people who has bought stuff from Renaissance Center and they end up paying like five times more than something than something's worth. And I mean... And they still don't um, pay it off. Yeah, and I and and I'm like I'm like you could have bought that same item somewhere else five different five times what you've already paid rent a center. You know, like I, I they're like I'm I'm only paying this per week or whatever, uh, or however they however you pay rent a center. I'm like I'm, I'm like yeah, but for how many weeks? <laughs> you know, and 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 they tell me and I'm, I'm like well my goodness you can buy this same product at a retail store for. A quarter of what, uh, uh, if not if not less, a quarter, and then what you're going to pay back for it? Nah, nah. You know, like I I won't ever buy a used bed, but I will buy a used desk or a used uh, bookshelf. You're cutting out some now. You're, you're cutting out some now, man. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I won't buy a used bed. But I'll use I'll buy a used bookshelf of a used desk. Oh no, mm. used underwear? Nah. 
Well, I might I might buy a used underwear before I use a, a used phone. <laughs> when are you getting the 10R, John? One pig's fly. The 10S Max. <laughs> what hell freezes over? Any other questions? A used pair of socks. <sighs> so yeah, I think we're about done here. Unless anybody else has any. Yes, bed bugs. Oh my god, those are scary. Yeah, th th that's th that's kind of why I don't sit in hotels anymore. Yep. You know, my favorite hotel, like budget hotel, is America's Best. Because those are always nice and clean. They're like 50 or 60 bucks a night. Mm. But if you want to really go luxury, I go Holiday Inn Express. What was your other question, Pittsburgh fan? Because I didn't see it come through. Would you be interested in some used cotton now? Crabs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my my 4K Ultra HD um, smart TV was like 300 bucks, if not cheaper as well. 50, uh, 50 inch. Um, so, but yeah, them, them rent a center places, stuff like that. I, I don't know. Lady Red says, and I'm back. Now, I have, I've, in the Navy, you got to sleep on whatever. So it's like, oh, yeah. All types of stuff. So tents, used beds, used linen, used whatever. So. so yeah, Michael Thomas, I, I, I watched it. I watched the final game. All right, all right, all right. I think we're about done. Even though there's still 50 y'all uh, watching, we really wow, appreciate really, it. yeah, man. I can't see it on my end for some reason. Usually, they can tell how many people's in the live, but I can't tell it. No, I didn't tell me. <clears throat> Scabies. <clears throat> I have a used girlfriend that might interest you. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. So, we'll yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Drop in my PayPal one more time here. You can, and if also if you're not subscribed, go ahead and press on that little bubble there, a little circle. You can get to my channel, subscribe, hit that bell. A lot of videos gonna be coming up here soon on this ZTE and everything else. So, uh, be sure to click hit subscribe and click that bell, um, and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah. Yep. And if you have $100 burning a hole in your pocket right now, go ahead and hit that super chat button for me and go ahead and drop it in there. Trust me, yeah. man. It would really be, uh, it, would really, <laughs> it would help. <laughs> All right. No hustles. What's the last words, man? Nothing much, bro. Uh, King of tech news and tech bills. Subscribe to my channel. Echo, echo, echo. All right. All right, peace out, guys. Bye bye now.